What's up everyone? In this video, I wanted to share eight things that I would not go hiking without. I've been hiking for quite a bit now and I've noticed that some items are just always inside my backpack, regardless whether if it's a short hike or a longer one. The item number one on this list is a pair of good merino wool socks. For people who are new into hiking, socks are often overlooked but socks are actually really important, especially if you're walking very long distances every day. Now, with regular socks, I used to get blisters very easily, and honestly, by the end of the day, my feet would also stink pretty bad. Merino wool socks are great because they just don't soak up any of the bad odor coming from your feet, they dry very quickly, and the thing with merino wool specifically is that it is very breathable, so you can also use them in the summer. Over here I have a pair of cheap Amazon merino wool socks. They're actually a mix of merino wool and nylon, and I'd probably recommend getting some kind of a blend as well instead of pure merino wool, because it will be cheaper and nylon is more durable and better at water resistance. I got these ones specifically only because they were a bit cheaper, but usually people who are into hiking more seriously go with either smart wool or darn tough socks, which usually last a bit longer and are also a bit more better looking compared to these ones. The second thing on this list is this MacGyver looking thing right here. So over here I have a regular lighter, which could be useful if my igniter on my camping stove breaks or if I need to make a campfire. Around it I have some duct tape and a piece of regular string. The duct tape is very useful for quickly patching up any holes that you might get in your rain jacket or in your dawn jacket or in your tent. And I added this string only recently. Basically, it's as useful as your own imagination. To show you an example, before bringing this piece of string, my micro spikes actually broke while I was hiking and I needed a piece of string to fix them because hiking without them would have been too dangerous. I resorted to cutting off a piece of string from my tent stake, but I wouldn't have need to done that if I would have bought this piece of string. So now I'm prepared for the next time. You could also use it to attach something to your backpack, maybe fix your backpack or basically anything else. The third thing or rather things that I bring are ibuprofen and a first aid kit. When I started out I basically didn't bring anything and ibuprofen was the first thing that I added to my kit. Altitude sickness, sunburns, painful muscles from walking too much, regular headaches, it can basically fix anything. It's like a magic pill that you take when something gets in the way of your hiking trip. By forgetting to bring some painkillers, your trip could either be very unpleasant or even ruined altogether. So always remember to bring some painkillers. Speaking of that, I need to get new ones myself because I'm out of them. But besides ibuprofen, I also bring a lightweight first aid kit, which should at least contain an emergency blanket, some bandages for your blisters, some disinfectant wipes in case you get a more serious injury, some lip balm for high altitude hiking, and some sunscreen. The next thing that I always bring personally is my espresso maker. If you watch some of my other hiking videos, you maybe notice that I like my coffee. Like, seriously, the whole video is just me walking and drinking coffee. And I don't know about you, but I like to drink good and strong coffee. So I always bring my espresso maker, which makes very strong and very tasty espresso. I know it's additional weight, but there's just something that I love about making coffee and drinking good coffee in the nature. It takes some time to prepare everything for this espresso maker, but I think the coffee actually tastes better and more enjoyable in the end because you needed so much time to prepare everything. The fifth thing on this list is a camping pillow. When I just started out I didn't use a camping pillow, I just slept on a blank sleeping pad. But let me tell you something, it's totally worth it to get a camping pillow. It makes sleeping in a tent much more comfortable, especially if you're doing it in winter. It costs about $20, it doesn't weigh almost anything, and it fits inside my palm. I really don't understand why I didn't get this thing earlier. 
This specific one is made by Trichology, and I think it's one of the most popular choices for hiking. This one comes with a strap that goes around your sleeping pad, so it doesn't move around at night. It's very comfortable, and also it doesn't make much sound when you move around, which is good when you're moving around during the night. I've had it for, I don't know, one or two years, I think, and so far it's held up really great. It's very comfortable. Yeah, I'd definitely recommend this one. By the way, if you're interested, I'll link out to it in the video description. Also, I'll link out to all of the other items that I mentioned in this video over there, so make sure to check it out. Item number six on this list is a hat. Nothing crazy, just a regular hat. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten sunburns in the mountains or in the summer just because I forgot to bring my hat. Another bonus for a hat is that if you're hiking for several days, you can still look good without taking a shower. And that's especially important if you're filming videos and posting stuff on social media, just like I do. This one I think looks pretty good and it's made by Columbia. If I'll be able to find the link, I'll link to it down in the video description. Item number seven is this thing. It's the Xiaomi Mi Band 4. I'm fairly certain that there are one or even two newer versions of this thing available right now. But I'm using the fourth generation for now, and before that I used the second generation. And if this breaks someday, I'll probably get a newer version. What I love about it is that it is basically indestructible. I have it on me 24-7 when I'm swimming, when I'm doing any physical labor, when I'm hiking, basically any time. In fact, let me show you something. See? <laughs> it's still working perfectly. So it's waterproof, you need to charge it roughly once every month, and it's very cheap. I think I paid about only 40 euros for it. In terms of function, it shows the time, obviously, the current day and the current date. It tracks how much distance and how many steps you've done each day. Uh, you can set a timer for something, you can set an alarm, you can measure your heart rate, and you can also connect it to your phone to receive some notifications, but I've never done that because I think it's kind of pointless if you can receive the notifications on your phone. And the last thing that I always bring is a water filter. I actually have two water filters, the Sawyer Mini and the Sawyer Micro Squeeze. And I definitely prefer the Sawyer Micro Squeeze because it has a much better flow rate. A water filter isn't useful only for emergency situations like a lot of people think they are. If I know that I'll be hiking along a river or something, I'd much rather filter some water along the way instead of carrying large amounts of water. You know, water adds a lot of additional weight, which can be avoided with a simple water filter, which doesn't basically add any weight, and it's also very cheap. But of course, if I'm day hiking, I'll just bring one or two bottles of water and it will be enough. I usually bring a water filter only if I'm staying overnight near a place where there isn't a source of fresh water available. So that's basically it. These were the eight things that I always make sure to bring with me when I'm out hiking. If you like this video and you aren't subscribed, well, what are you doing? I mean, seriously, what are you doing with your life? Everyone knows that this is the best hiking YouTube channel on the whole YouTube. So. Click the subscribe button for more videos about hiking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.